안녕하세요 여러분, 저는 브렌다입니다. And today I'm going to tell you guys why my Korean university sucked. It sucked, you guys, and here is why. Okay, so some of the annoying things that I encountered before actually going to the university had to do with scheduling and also the lack of information that just wasn't there on the on the university. When I tried looking up pictures and videos and just more information about Kyunghee University, I really couldn't find like anything, like nothing much. Not on the school's website, not on Google, not on YouTube, nothing. So I was very frustrated because I wanted to know a little bit more about the school I'd be going to. And that's pretty much the biggest reason why I'm making this video as well as a uni tour video and dorm room tour video that I took back when I was in, you know, Kyung Yi. As for scheduling, um, I literally had around six or so classes I had proposed for my schedule there and they literally all got rejected. Either the teachers would say, you know, oh, this class is too advanced for you because you're freshmen. Because when you go to Korea, you may not be able to get the same major that you have in the US. As in my case, I couldn't choose the same major. So I, I chose something that was kind of similar, like it was decently similar. But like by me choosing this new major, I was classified as a freshman. And then I couldn't take upper level classes that I needed for my, my major back in the US. Also, the other reason why I couldn't take these classes is because online they would classify them as bilingual classes, but for whatever reason they would just change it to Korean. Like they, they didn't really let any of us foreign students or exchange students know that these classes would not be bilingual or English or whatever. KHU, like Kyungi, pretty much only left me with a few choices. And so I only got to choose two classes that were in my major and the other two didn't pertain to it. This problem didn't only, you know, stop with me. There were a bunch of other um, foreign exchange students, even my roommates, like they also had trouble with scheduling before they came and also during. The saddest thing is that for them, um, there are lots of exchange students who on their very first week of classes were kicked out of their classes. They were literally kicked out of their classes that week because the teachers had decided that last minute to change their English course into a Korean course. And the other sad thing is that a bunch of the exchange students, um, including myself actually, ended up having a class that was supposed to be an English course, but would be taught all in Korean anyway. They usually would give the excuse that, oh, the Korean students won't understand if I speak all in English, so I'm just gonna do Korean. So here are some of the annoying things that I encountered while at the school. In the end, I did do well in all my classes, Except, except the only one that mattered, the only one that I actually needed. In this class, this teacher decided to not give us homework, no tests, and no exams, not even a midterm exam except for the final exam. So our only grades in that class were that fi was that final exam and a final project, just pretty much those two grades. And you'd expect him to make the final exam like decently easy or at least you know, understandable, doable. No, no. This teacher decided to not give us a study guide, not give us any hints or tips or advice on what information would be covered, and instead, pretty much all the information from the beginning of the semester was fair game for this test. So, moving on to the other class that I mentioned, I realized after the first um, class or the second class that my teacher wasn't going to be teaching the class in English, and instead he was going to speak all in Korean, despite having his class, cla his class classified as an English course. So I actually thought I should just drop the class. I actually like mentioned this to the teacher. I was like, I think I'm gonna drop this class because it's I don't need it, I've already taken it, and I don't understand what's being said. And then he proceeded to lie to me, you guys. He lied to me. And he said that, you know, the class would be half in English and half in Korean, and that all the slides and notes um, and the tests would be in English. And I was like, mm, no thank you. Sadly, unfortunately, I couldn't find another class and I had to take that class again. You know how like schools will give you like a week or something like that for when you can like drop classes and add classes? Well, the very next week of after the dropping classes segment, like time was over, 
my teacher had failed on his promise. He did not teach half in English and half in Korean. No, he taught all in Korean. The one part of, the, of his promise that he did keep was that the slides were all in English, but you guys, but these slides were not posted online. To clarify what may have been their reason, like the reason that teachers in Korea decide to teach in English course, but then end up doing you know, like speaking in Korean anyway is I heard from a Korean friend that many Korean teachers choose to classify a course as an English course in order to bypass the um, restrictions that Korean classes usually have. So whenever they classify their course as an English course, they get to structure their own um, syllabi and lessons according to the way they want to do and not the Korean standards. In other words, many of the teachers in Korea, or at least in my Korean university, cheat the system. After finishing all of my classes in Korea, like in my university, I realized that failing a Korean like a class in a Korean university is virtually impossible. And I'll explain this to you guys in like another video. Okay, so another frustration that I faced while over at my Korean university is the management and the administration side of things. My university, Kyungi University, the global university, the global university that should be well equipped for inter international students and exchange students was not well equipped for us. It was not suited for us at all. First of all, barely anyone in you know important positions and like managerial positions spoke de decent English. Like there's barely anyone. I remember um, for many of us exchange students, we had so much trouble, so much trouble trying to figure out our um, bank situation because many of us needed to open up bank accounts in order to you know spend money in Korea but in general we always had trouble with like those kinds of situations important things like opening our bank accounts and now for the the social aspect of this this rant or this video I don't know what to call it I'm, I'm, I'm sure I sound like I'm ranting and I am ranting I, <laughs> oh well I heard this excuse from one of my Korean friends he said that the Korean students at my school are not really good at English mostly because they went to like high schools where they were geared towards more like scientific stuff and so when you're based in like the sciences you don't really learn much of the English like if you're doing maybe international relations or you know foreign language or whatever then you get taught English more often and like in a better better way or something so most of the kids at this campus weren't really good in English so they felt that they wouldn't be able to communicate with us foreign students and instead decide to ignore us instead of talking to us and trying my foreign friends and I found this like we we feel we viewed this as an excuse because it was an excuse we had come to you know Korea and this university in order to you know put to advance our studies, which didn't really happen for most of us, and also to, you know, meet Koreans, like become friends with Koreans and interact and, you know, learn about a new culture. And we couldn't because these students didn't give us the chance to. I do agree that like some of the exchange students that come to Korea don't actually learn Korean, like they don't even know any Korean coming in and they don't really care to learn Korean. But there are people like me and a bunch of the others who did know like, you know, decent amount of Korean and would be able to communicate in Korean, like albeit maybe a little bit of a mixture of Korean and English, but we'd be able to communicate because I actually ended up making a few Korean friends and that's the way we communicated in English and Korean. So with all these Korean students not really, you know, trying to talk to us exchange students or like giving us the chance, Many of us foreign students ended up being friends and good friends with the foreign students there. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of my rant. I could go on with this list of grievances as like a, a student at KHU, but those were the biggest ones and the most um, concerning ones that I wanted people to know about. But do keep in mind that this was just at my campus, at the global campus um, for Kyungi, and it things could possibly be different at the Seoul campus. So, I mean, if you guys are looking into Kyungi, I would probably point you more towards the Seoul campus if you can. I made this video to inform people who were thinking about coming to KHU and maybe just a Korean university in general, just to like take precaution and to research into the universities that you are thinking of going into because you need to know what the life will be like, how they'll deal with international students, if they have your classes, if they're in English or if they're in Korean, like all these different aspects because 
To be honest, for me, my academic part of my Korean semester, like my Korean stay, um, wasn't all that good. I still, don't get me wrong, I still loved my time in Korea. Like, I ended up finding out ways to like enjoy it more. Just like, outside of school, I had so, so much fun. And even within school, I um, had my best friend, Lila, um, my roommate, and that's all I really needed. Even though this video may have you know, sounded really like horrible and it was a rant and all that and it, make it, it made it seem like Korea was like a bad time for me. It really wasn't, like I, like Korea, my time in Korea was an amazing time. I highly recommend people like going to Korea, like it's a beautiful country. There's, there, you can find some really, really, really awesome people there and you can have a great time there. Anyway, that's the end of the video. BT Dubs, out snack we got it looks like potatoes that's why i decided to go after it but yeah come